which roster do you think will produce more NFL talent? How many guys off this Michigan roster will be playing in the NFL in five years versus the TCU roster? I got to think that the Michigan roster is going to be head and shoulders. Yes, more. probably, yep. probably. Yep. You know, I, I and to be honest, you know, I, I think I can't name anybody on a defense for TCU that would automatically pencil in. I grant I don't know their roster too well. Um, but for Michigan, you know, if I had to project, I mean, I don't think it's a ton of guys, um, you know, maybe. I think there's a decent amount. <clears throat> okay, I project I Will. Colson will be there. Uh, I project Morris, Will Johnson. Oki, will, Johnson will Johnson, if he stays healthy, DJ yes. Uh, R.J. Moten is probably an NFL player. Uh, I mean, you you got a decent amount, and that's just defense, right? Your probably entire O-line, you know, sans a guy is going to be there. Um, Ronnie Bell's an NFL wide receiver. Love Maybe. him. He's young, but he's probably a pro. Uh, Donovan Edwards, obviously. JJ. I mean, for TCU, you're probably talking Max Duggan. You're talking Quentin Johnson. For sure. I like Danica, uh, uh Miller. On, Miller's on, a really good defense. back. Yeah. Uh, Miller was a really good back. He got hurt yeah. early, but he's pretty dynamic. I think he has legit I, NFL future. I, I think the difficult part is to get for Michigan to get to the next level. It's going to be in recruiting. Like you have to get a higher recruiting a, a talent base in order to get to that next level. And I know people are going to say, well, the last two years we've made it here without that. But I, I think until we see different, essentially you got to be in that top six, top seven for recruiting rankings year after year in order to get there. Like it's, they, they, it's hard to, get to there, you've got to take that next step, but the, and it's hard the to sustain that level. Me, Des. I, I think, I think it is recruiting is something you can outwork someone in. Like you can outwork another staff in recruiting and it, it, and now it's not always going to work, but right. you, can <laughs> Some... you can absolutely outwork another, <laughs> another staff. And well, that's not an issue. Money's definitely not an issue for for Michigan. I'll talk about NIL. The budget. way the NIL thing is going right now, I mean, you know, I, I think, yeah, look, you know, you know, Michigan's all about transformative, not transactional type experiences. Um, you know, but uh, you know what, man, the problem is that it, it really doesn't matter what we say they need to do recruiting wise if your coach is, doesn't seem to be all in. That's what it comes back to. When your coach seems to yeah. be not all in, it's hard to come up with any kind of recruiting strategy because the 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 main part of that is is a piece that's not firm, right? Mm -hmm. It starts with the head coach. The head coach builds the staff. The staff, him and the staff in tandem, develop a scout a recruiting strategy, right? And the staff help, help, helps him carry it out. Well, where the main part of that doesn't seem like he's all in. I mean, man, you know, I, I have a problem with that. You know, I mean, Nick Saban's, I mean, he he's recruiting right after the bowl game, you know, every year. I mean, he's right on it. You know, like, I, I, to me, Jim, just taking this time in which he's, um, you know, it, 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 it seems to be right after the bowl game. He's thinking about other things, right? And I'm not talking about family time, thing, you know, well-being, a well-adjusted human being. I'm talking about in terms of his profession. And, um, man, I, I just, it, it, it just, it bothers me. Um, I, I wish you would do it differently. I don't want to keep keep you know re regurgitating uh the same talking point but you know i, I just it, it, it gets irritating after a while man you know because it's an every year thing guys if it was an every blue moon thing i would not care i think a coach is best i mean i think matt campbell at iowa state probably missed the boat when he had a hot name in the game both mm -hmm. collegially and nfl you know and he was either too loyal or too complacent and uh now um he's not nearly of a He's kind of lost that steam a little bit. P.J. Fleck at a certain point, I think collegially, had a very hot name and, um, you know, probably stayed a little too long in Minnesota, right? Not saying that they're doing bad jobs where they are, but I'm talking about striking when the iron's hot and, and staying on that upward proje uh, trajectory, right? Uh, so I, I would never get mad at a coach for doing a due diligence or finding ways to expand or change their career. However, I do care about how you go about it in terms of your current job and, and, and trying to be as straightforward as possible, especially when that particular university has done right by you for so long. Right. So that's um, that, that's kind of my, my gist of it. But whatever. Yeah.